Uh, yeah, I was just I uh, was listening to Hopper's Sunday video, and I realized I think these got left out of my auction video because I filmed it the next day, and I think I took these in the house so I could watch them. Uh, yeah, and uh, so I got these from him. He bought both boxes of VHS, and I gave him two bucks for these four videos. So thanks, Hopper. I'm sorry I forgot to put them in the uh, Monday video, unless they are in there. I watched it a couple times and I can't remember. I skimmed it just to see if these were in it. But there we go. Let's put extra time. <laughs> Alright. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, brother. I was not going to do a video because I got so much stuff crammed in here. I really don't have any space. Here's the tapes I got at the thrift store yesterday. I was going to start an earnest lot. I don't know why. Deadly Companion. Uh, Hell to Eternity. A Godzilla Megaton. A Dirty Harry. A uh, Fistful of Dollars. Continental Divide. I never, uh, I haven't seen that since probably the movie theater. Uh, Clint Eastwood, Hang em High. Elvis. Nightmare Before Christmas, I always pick them up, probably start a lot of goosebumps too. So. Oh, and I don't know, uh, at the thrift store, shoot, I don't even know what I, what all I got. These records were at the Salvation Army too, some Joni Mitchells, I figured I'd listen to them, I like some of her stuff. King of the Road with Billy Strange on guitar, so I don't know, I'm hoping it's good. I had that 45 with Billy Strange. Clouds, Joni Mitchell. The Sean Cassidy Room Service. And Smithereens, which is actually worth something. I don't know, because it looks a little rough now that I got it out in the light. I'm going to take that disgusting plastic off now that it's ruined. Disgusting. Looks like this. Oh, I guess that's part of the cover art. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it is. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, that stuff I had. I got this at the store in town before the auction. I got a Star Wars Trilogy set for free. I already have one at the flea market, nobody wants it, and some dollar DVDs, which after going through all the rest they gave me for three dollars, I got five. Sea Biscuit Special, a uh, Jeremiah Johns, which I already own, but I just love that movie, uh, Outlaw Josie Wales, that should sell at the flea market. The Johnny Cash TV show, I'm pretty sure Ernest might appear on that, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that. It's not worth much either. And The Exorcist, a version you've never seen, but you have because I've seen it. <laughs> okay, so there's that junk. Oh, go grab this. Probably just going to be a quickie though, because I got work to do. Uh, Oh, I got these at the Salvation Army also. I got Rick Springfield Alive, Sonic Boom Kiss, Kiss, <laughs> uh, and Skinny Williams and Irwin Hef Helfer, St. John's Infirmary. There's some free stuff at the end of the night, uh, Cruel, whatever they call it. Yeah, the heck, they call these at the end of the now. I might go to my stepdaughter if I see her again. Tiddly Winks game was free. Al pointed it out. Kind of cool. Not as cool as my grandmother's was, but hers is gone now. I have parts of it. The stepkids are a little hot, hard on it, I think. Uh, this stuff is free too. Got a Nerf gun. Has some foam things to shoot. A stupid helmet. I don't know if that's even worth me taking to the flea market. I might get a buck for it. A duck. Why did I get that? I guess oh, because I took the whole box. This is separate. Some jumbo wood beads. A ball glove and a ball uh, and some animals. I didn't look at those yet. And so, oh, here's some uh, Sesame Street Cookie Monster and Ernie. Cool. Um, some more furniture. Hey, is that a little frog? I don't know what that is. A couple paths. Uh, whatever this thing's for. Uh, no name. Uh, hard plastic wishing well. Here's some chairs, kind of looks like uh, the chairs from a, a Beauty and the Beast, the Disney movie. I don't know if it is or not. 
Uh, I think that's it. I got one snowman, a couple paths snowman. I got that guy and uh, Charlie Brown, I think, down in there somewhere. Not much. And then a horseshoe set is there. Hey, I might set it up out back. Maybe me and my mom can play horseshoes. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna go through this crap, but it's just, I didn't want to see him throw it out, and I figured he'd make a few bucks off it or nothing else. So. Uh, wait, is this the box of 45s I bought? Oh, yeah, these, these were in a, I don't know if actually they were or not. I think they were in a, there was a He-Man holder that Bill wanted, so I bought the 45s so I could give him that. I got... The end of the lot, uh, the 78s, I was going to pay two bucks and see if anything good was in there, and then give the rest maybe to that the guy Don, Pink Floyd, and I didn't buy them. I left and they had that, and these 45s, the last two things in the lot, nobody bought them, so I gave a dollar, so I got both for one dollar. Look at all that, woo! One minute in the flea market, I could melt them all in the sun. Now I'm going to try to sell. I'll go through them, and I'm going to keep very few. I'll probably have to look some up, which takes up time, and I hardly ever find anything good. Anyway, I will take what a few, and then all the rest. I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'm going to start letting people get them for a quarter each, and then I'm going to try to get them to buy the entire thing. I have already have another box from last night that I got in some books, which I have not showed yet. I gotta go. There's just too much stuff. Hold on. Here's some junk that was in something I got for a couple bucks, and I threw it. This all going to the flea market. A plastic beer tray, Valentine, I think it is, or Valentine. That broken old beat up Fisher Price thing. Still works though. Whoa. Okay, a couple shoe stretchers. The popper one, because he needed his shoe stretched, but I see he didn't take them though. <laughs> and, uh,. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that stuff. I'm gonna have to look up what a horseshoe set's worth if I do not, if I do decide not to keep it. All right, let's see. Uh, bought a box of junk for two bucks. Oh, it must have been with the shoe stretchers on the table. It had this stupid thing, this robot. It's an eight track player, but it's made to play, uh, you know, educational stuff. But I gotta. See if I have an adapter for it. And this junk was in there, colored TV signs. I don't know if, any, if they're worth anything. I thought somebody made them at first, but I only saw them out of the corner of my eye in the box. So and then this hunters keep out of unharvest cornfields to help protect the farmer's crops. I wish it wasn't stained, it probably has some value. I still think I'll sell it, maybe for a buck or two. I got a couple frisbees. Are they in the free stuff? I can't remember now. Where did I buy them? I don't know. This was with the uh, thing with the robot. It was a set of these uh, Lustra, Lustra wear uh, cups. I got all four colors. Four cups, four plates. Pretty decent shape, other than the cobwebs. And then this game was... Uh, oh, it was leftover. I didn't pay anything for this. Cassan de Daga Valley? Hmm. Basically, like they make for all the cities, a uh, rip off of Monopoly. So, anyway, whoa, that'll, uh, I'll check it out, see if it has any value. If it's sealed, I could probably sell it for 20 bucks because somebody from there will probably want one, like they do from Titus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Two bucks for this box of junk. It was under the, oh, God, uh, under the table. Oh, yeah. Play school Donald Duck puzzle making thing. The stuff's down in the box. I don't know if it's all there. This does not work. Just more junk for the flea market, I guess. Disneyland. I wish it worked. It spins, but it don't make any noise. Here, yeah, let's try it out. Whoa, this thing is terrible. It's too dark. And there's going to be a seatbelt in the way. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Down there? That's stupid. Alright, I'm just gonna throw it in there and not even look it up. Alright, um, I got some plates. What else was in there? Two puzzles that if they were 
fuck, uh, full or complete, they'd be worth something maybe, but this Hulk says 1981, 1988, so I don't know what that means, uh, there's Turtles from 1990, which is kind of early, but, um, let me tape the box shut, cut the tape, even see what they look like, and then there's the clown puzzle, which is probably just going to end up on my thing for a dollar, I should check, because it could be worth some, those look like, they could be Ringling Brother type clowns, but I don't know. I guess not. They're kind of hideous. E. E. Fairchild. What are you doing? How come I didn't find you a new home? Giddy, 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 giddy. Uh, anyway, so that's a Columbia series. I don't know. Maybe it, is it was worth me looking it up. Uh, and then that, which I think I will put together. I hope it's not too big. I'm tired of putting puzzles together. But it's from Giggs or whatever, with the big eyes, stolen from Keen, or else it is her stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. That might have some decent value. I ran out of cardboard. I gotta find cardboard just to make stuff for packing. I don't have anything in this box. Whoopsie, there goes the uh, Disney thing that's crushed. There's pieces. I don't know. Still worth it. Somebody will definitely give me a buck, if not more, for it. I'll check the value. I'm sure everybody up there checked the value. That box is going to have to get reused, recycled, and I paid too much for this. I got one up to twelve fifty or twelve for it, and I didn't want more than ten in it. They just don't bring enough. I know I'll get twenty bucks maybe for it. Placing what what year it is isn't easy. It's not the oversized, and there's no date on it has the regulation U.S. Patent Office, but I don't know, uh, these they kept that on there a lot longer than most things, so um, it's a little dirty. Not bad overall, and it's the better one. I like having the, the Spectre on the front. So there's that. Ah, that box is disgusting. Uh, what are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> How you trap a cat? Put a box down. Another thing I got, Cedar Point Mirror, I paid 15 I didn't want somebody else beating me to it, I would have been disappointed, and I think I could have got it a lot cheaper, probably could have got it for like 5 bucks. I don't like bringing attention to some odd oddity things, it makes people start looking more of them up, and then I lose cool things to repurt or to buy. Oh, I'm greedy. Uh, two Flintstone glass. I paid five bucks for this box. A bunch of these cups. They made all of those cups. Like there's a Roy Rogers cup I see all the time. They made that. It's a F and F mold company and dye thing. This Flintstone's pretty nice shape. I don't know. I don't think it's worth much though. Here I put all these fruit guys on, but if they don't, if they don't show good value, they're just going to go to the flea market and they'll put a buck a piece. And I still make good money to have. Ten bucks. These I'll probably see. Check, make sure they don't have. I think they have enough value. I'll get at least a couple bucks a piece for them at the flea market, and then uh, well, make sure they're they're not. They haven't been dishwashed, so I uh, can probably lot them up, put both of them on, and get a half decent price maybe out of them. I don't know. I wouldn't mind keeping Barney Rubble, Fred on his dinosaur, <laughs> hole 18. Oh yeah, I'm going to list uh, the Cedar Point, and then this was fi found in a bunch of free stuff. It's got some damage, stain damage, but it's an empty uh, Mork and Mindy Bubblegum Trading Cards box from 78, yep. Nanu Nanu. Alright, there's the stuff that's in here. Oh no, I got this too. I guess. I don't remember getting that. that piece of junk that were in there. I don't know if somebody'd still give me a buck for that filthy old wall pocket or not. Well, that's disgusting. Um, I hate throwing stuff away. It's pretty old. It is Claire Mold Plastics Company, New Jer New York, New Jersey. Huh. There's some kind of knife thing, and then this was in there. It's a beauty case of some kind. Actually, it's kind of. Uh, short trip, so it's just a small make and travel bag. See, it's got a your wagon, so you can get there. Now, somebody I think took the rest of this. I got the the wagon, but not the horses or the setup for it. Uh, no name probably on it. Looks like it could be marked or something. Uh, anyway, so there's that too. I forgot it was. It was I don't know where that came from. One of the boxes of junk. 
But here's this uh, kit, it needs cleaned out, but it's got a little bottle that they put talcum, looks like talcum powder in. And that's probably old, what's left of what, some mouthwash probably. And a soap tray, so that's pretty neat. I don't know if there's any value, and unfortunately, no key. I don't know if it took a special key or if I can find something that's just takes an average weird flat key probably. I don't know. I got some keys, but find out. It's in really good shape. That's why I wished I did have the key. Uh, got some scrapes, but the movie prop would be great. Huh. So I believe that is. Oh wait, something's over here. Oh yeah. More free stuff. Picking up good stuff. It's surprising how many things get missed during the auction. That's why I have a pink, uh, a glass baked pink dish. Cold cream, I'd say, but it don't have a lid. I don't know. I might have had a metal cover. I don't know. And a train mug that isn't very old, and then a hand-painted little jug that uh, I'm smacking around that has a symbol in the bottom of a guy with a hammer or an axe or something. Uh, yeah, looks Swedish or uh, maybe Norwegian type. I don't know. Lloyd Bremen, anywhere around that thing. It looks German or Swiss, though. I do not know what it is. Oh, and it's, oh I had a cork. Oh, did I lose the cork? Oh, whoops, sorry. The cork, I lost it. And if I did fall out when it was in this box, it was a big hole, so I do not have it anymore. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh, well, oh, there it is. Hooray! Maybe I just dumped it out without even realizing it. There it is. So it's got its corker. Well, Cindy said this was a jar opener, but why is it so giant? I mean, I know it's supposed to be a sunflower, but come on. I don't know. It looks like it, it sticks to something. You can pick stuff up off things. So maybe it's for that. Two cigar cutters. I can feel like Dark Man. Oh, God, this one sticks. And there's this one. This one is actually marked... Uh, can't read it. Oh, well. Is this one more special? Yeah, this one has a name on it. Stainless steel, patent pending, um, Macuto or something. I don't know. A green glass for uh, the yellow pages. Got an idea of the Berry Company. Be kind of cool. And there was three of these bells, and I took the one because it's got the best paint. The rest are all peeling. Jamboree USA, wheeling. West Virginia or whatever. Found one knife that looked like I should take it. Stainless steel. It's a full tang, so I took it. I don't know if any value. And this is free, I think. A picture of the National Association of Credit Credit Jewelers meeting. Cadillac Hotel. 1927. Commercial photo, Detroit, Michigan. See, Cadillac Hotel. Is that Cadillac, Michigan? Hmm. Where Kiss played and had a whole Kiss day for the city. Wish I would have there. All right. All right. In the '78s, I took out these because they're Hawaiian-related music. I can't play them, so why I took them? I don't know. I looked one up. One sold for thirteen dollars, but it wasn't. I don't remember which one it was. These are some of my albums. I took all the '45s out of them. I'm gonna. Probably put them in lots and now put 45s back in them to, so I can mail them media rate. Because at one book, almost basically, once you put it in packing and stuff, you're almost to a pound. So, so I got quite a few of them. The darker ones, of course, look better because they don't show the dirt. I got a red one. I don't know how. Maybe I'll sell them all together. I don't know. But uh, it's an ugly tote that came with them. But uh, in these, two bucks a piece, one only had four books in it, and the other one had all the rest, and then there was a, uh, uh, there was a, um, some records in there, so, uh, that's why I got it. I'm gonna have to refilm this. Oh yeah, I bought a box with some toys in it, I don't know, where the heck are they? 
It might still be out in the other room. I got some stuff scattered so much everywhere. I don't even know what I'm doing with the stuff. Oh, quit whining. Uh, there's a Matchbox garage. It was filled with little metal signposts and stuff by Lindsay. But I think that's at least ten dollars just because it's in pretty decent shape. I could probably get more. Uh, did I show these? These are those little bottles I got. Did I show what they were? They came from that estate. Oh, no, I didn't. This is the last day of the estate or the second day where everything's half off. I got these out of either the dollar or the 50 cent box. I either got a quarter or 50 cents in them. And I saw them the first day and I didn't even think much of them. Here we go. One's a Budweiser. Is that better? Focus and uh, there. See, it's a lighter. Uh, I think it's about twenty bucks. It's in pretty good shape. Same with this Pepsi one. I saw one, but it opens fun. You have to pull it out. It should. I don't know. I was gonna try to stick it the other way. But maybe it wedged down there, but it seems like they're supposed to be. But it's just not staying in the top like it should. But it's in good shape. They're both made by Cam. I think they are. Yeah. Chem Company, K-E-M. And then this was in there. This is metal. This is brass. And I couldn't figure out what the heck it was because it didn't seem like it did anything. This pushed down, but it didn't seem to do anything. Well, it lets releases the bottle opener inside. So then you can open your beer, and then you have to you push this in, and you can push that in, and let go, and it stays in there. One sold on eBay for about 20 bucks, or maybe it was a little more, plus shipping. But you could, the label was really bad, and you can see this one's still pretty good. So I'm hoping, I think part of this was peeled off or something. So yeah, that is another find. So for 50 cents or a quarter, that was a good buy that nobody else even bothered with. Oh, and then in my album box, I said there's some Elvis, um, there's that, this came out of that $40 box of 45s, it's, I don't know what the value is, there were some records and they're asking $100 for them, but this is a 45 and I don't even, can't even find it listed anywhere, so I think it's worth me at least, it's in the obscurity, so I'm going to maybe put 50 to 100 bucks on it, that'll hopefully pay for that waste of money I spent on them 45s. <laughs> well this was in the uh, album cover thing. Uh, the records weren't in it. They were in with the other 45s. They're in bad shape. They're really noisy. They didn't skip. I played all both of them already. They're EPs. So there's eight songs. There is a three or four hundred dollar version if you look at the, the, without a cover that they, the records have three songs on each side instead of two and that really makes it valuable. Now I had trouble finding this particular cover. There's covers that open and close. They all seem to have this at their gatefold. They have this picture of Elvis. Uh, is my focus going to be good? Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, they all have Elvis. Now this is pretty clean. Hopefully you can tell that it's not mildew and all nasty. Front cover is good. It's still pretty solid. Uh, I found most of them have a picture, black and white picture of Elvis on the back. I already say I don't have deja vu, I guess because they told somebody else a story. Uh, it has Elvis on the back and then the list of the music. Uh, this does not. And there is another one with a different ad where the covers, there's like five different records pictured on the back. I only found one of this cover and it was just a cover and the guy took an offer. So he got somewhere between 110-ish to 150. Uh, I don't know what, so I'm thinking about listing this for a hundred bucks. Oh, well, actually, I think I was going to put it on for 150 because I think the cover is a little nicer than his. He said his was beautiful, but you could see it's war just like this one. But I think it was a little more war, especially on the spine. So then I have the records with mine. Even though they are noisy, they don't skip, and it makes it complete. So I figure I'll ask 150, and I'll take somewhere between 100 and 150. And that really makes my four dollar purchase of book or album covered books or whatever. <laughs> Talk much. Anyway, that's gonna do it. This might be a short video. I won't have to make any credits for it, uh, I guess. And uh, I think that's it. I'll add something on later if I think I forgot some. Oh, I did get some tapestries. I didn't take a video of my Saturday estate sale buys. So just have to deal with it.
I got those bottles. I got this hanger. They had this on the wall. I ended up giving her a dollar for it. It's got its label still. And it's a neat kitchen related one that should interest people. And this is of uh, Paris, I think. Because the people went to Paris a lot. So it's got the Eiffel Tower, but it's a nice boat scene. And that's uh, Le Tour Eiffel at Le Zine. <laughs> so it's by the river. Uh, but look at that cool boat. That's pretty neat. Looks like maybe it's one the water flows over or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just a reflection, I guess. I don't know. I was never in Paris. It looks like a double-decker bus. Look at that terrible artwork of that truck. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I didn't find one of them. It's one thing. List it for 20 bucks. Somebody's probably going to want it. It's very vintage. So, there we go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Buy something from my eBay store if you'd like to support me. And, uh...